Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. Today's tutorial is preparation about Certified SOLIDWORKS Professional Exam Segment 2. For this segment, you should know everything about configuration, how to change different features in part, how to roll back features, and also how to use design table. For this tutorial, I will use the chain cable chain link that I used for the associate assembly. I have modified it a little bit. So one of the main things that segment two of the professional exam is focused, this is configurations. To access the configuration of the part, you should go here on configuration manager and you will see the different configurations which are available in this part. One of your tasks will be to create a configuration based on other configuration. So you choose the configuration based on which you want to make a new one. I will choose 60 on 30 on 20 and I will create new one which is 60 on 40 on 20. So if you right click on the configuration you are in you will be able to add derived configuration but we don't want this so we go on the main part right click and add a configuration we said it will be 60 on 40 on 20 and you will create a new configuration one you're done and you want to change something in the properties you can right click and check the properties of this configuration you have the configuration name description if this should be used in bill of materials or not what part number should be used in bill of materials it could be document name configuration or user specified so here you can type it i will use configuration name you can also set it to be excluded from bill of materials then we have some advanced options to suppress features. This means all new features that will be created after this configuration is created and are not created, in, created inside this configuration will be suppressed in this one. You can choose specific color and also you have the option to add rebuild on save. When this is marked, this means on every save it will rebuild the configuration. This will slow a little bit the save process, but if this is important for you, it's good to be marked. Now, when I have created this new configuration, usually I should make some change inside. In this case, I should change the width only for this configuration to 40. We take the width, double click it, make sure that you are changing only for this configuration not for all you have also an option to specify for which configurations you want that type the new value if you want to see directly as rebuild hit the rebuild button and then ok and our new configuration is ready the next thing that you have to do is change configuration and also change or rearrange features. For this part, we will go to one of the ends. And as you can see, I'm missing here holding slots. We are going back to the feature tree. I have also some errors here. And we want to add the slots here. I will go on the top plane. We have to add two slots. So we have a distance from here, five. Here also five, here also five, and the radius will be 
2.5 then the distance between the slots will be 3 millimeters and we can make them equal slots and align them vertically and we can give extrude cut up to next and our two slots are ready so this is end one slot but it put it here at the end one option to put it higher is first to roll back and then start making the slot but also you can have it with the left click and drag it after the other feature which is for end one and save your document we have to do the same also for the other end We rename this feature also. What is important to check for these two features that they're active only in their configurations. So you right click on the feature and go to configure feature. As you can see, it's suppressed in every other configuration except this one, it's okay. Then we check for the other end slot it's also correct and with this editing configuration is ready the last thing you have to know about the professional exam segment 2 is to use a design table to insert a design table go on insert tables excel design table you must have excel to use this feature as a source, you can make it blank and manually add the options you want in this table. You can use auto create and it will automatically fill the table or you can use also template from file. You can also link to this file. So when you're changing externally the table and go back in your part, it will update based on the external file. On edit control, the first option is uh, to allow model edits. This means everything that is inside the table, you can change from within the model. In the second option, everything that is inside the table can be changed only from the table itself. On the options, you can choose what to some additional uh, options for the table, like new parameters, new configurations, warnings, and drop down list i will disable the drop down list i don't need this one and i will use the auto create and hit ok i will expand my table a little bit first you can see on the first row is your configuration name then on each row you have different things so the part number column color column material and mass column are the ones that i don't need so i will delete them and now what we have to do is to add end one and two to all the configurations that we want we can also add different values here so we can add new configurations. To add this to configuration, it's much easier if you use a formula. So switch the cells to a general one and then type a formula, which is equal to the top cell and In double commas, you add the text you want to be added. As you can see, it didn't change the end result. But now when I paste it for the other ones, 
it will update automatically. So I change all the formulas. Very important not to forget the parent. Once we are ready with our formula, I would like to add two blank rows under each configuration. You just mark two rows and hit insert. It will insert two rows after the top one. And the last is to mark everything here and just copy it and paste in the black rows. As you can see, it's updating the parent, it's updating the name. And this is how you create fast new configurations. Once you're ready, you click somewhere outside of the table. It will inform you that it will add the following configurations. Just hit OK. Now when we go to Configuration tab, we can see that all our configurations have the new included. When you go to the main and then to derived, you see that it's updated and it's correct. We are ready with today's tutorial. That's all you have to know about Certified SolidWorks Professional Segment 2 exam. If you're not confident with some of the features, just practice them a little bit more. If you have some questions, ask them in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe for the channel to be always up to date with the newest content. See you next time. Bye!